According to Travis, he's coming back, Spruill told the Palm Beach Post in an interview published on Thursday, December 28th. I went up for two games to go see him. I trust he'll be back, especially if he wants to keep playing at the age he is. He needs to get in the gym and make sure he's ready. Spruill has been training Kels, 34, who plays as a tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs, in Boca Raton since the 2013 NFL Combine. Over the years, Kels has spent seven of his 11 off-seasons renting a house for two months to work with Spruill. Spruill, meanwhile, has made the trip up to Missouri on occasion to see Kels play. There, he's met Swift, 34, at post-game parties. Running into the pop star is something Spruill hopes will happen again, I'll see her next month, he told the outlet, in hopes the pair could discuss her fitness routine as she continues her Worldwide Eras tour. Maybe I can talk to her about her workout routine and see if she needs help. I read where she talked about it, the different things she does to work out, he continued. She has a workout routine where she runs on a treadmill and sprints while trying to sing her songs. Earlier this month, Swift revealed details of the strict fitness regimen that prepared her for her tour, which kicked off in April and picks back up in February. Her training began six months before the first show at Dog Pound, a celebrity gym that created a custom program for Swift to get her in the proper shape for her concerts, which clock in at a whopping 3.5-hour runtime. Every day I would run on the treadmill, singing the entire set list out loud, Swift explained during Time Person of the Year interview. Fast for fast songs, and a jog or a fast walk for slow songs. In addition to an intensive cardio routine, Swift also completed three months of dance training with ERA's tour choreographer Mandy Moore. Dietary changes were made as well, with Swift telling Time that she was really disciplined about her drinking in the months leading up to the tour. Doing that show with a hangover, I don't want to know that world, Swift quipped, noting that she stopped touring like a frat bro. For Swift, the lifestyle changes were not only about maintaining stamina, but also about making sure she can show up for fans. I know I'm going on that stage whether I'm sick, injured, heartbroken, uncomfortable, or stressed, she explained. That's part of my identity as a human being now. If someone buys a ticket to my show, I'm going to play it unless we have some sort of force marger. That kind of outlook is something Kels is trying to maintain for himself. After three Chiefs losses in a row this season, the athlete addressed the recent downtick in his team's performance during an episode of his New Heights podcast earlier this week. We handed that team a win on Christmas, Kel said of the Chiefs' December 25th matchup against the Raiders. We literally played Santa and gave them a present. That was embarrassing. It's frustrating when you know you got the guys and you got everybody that you need and things just aren't going your way. Now, Kels is ready to turn things around. I got her F, King Lock the F, and K in and be more accountable for him and be more accountable for my teammates, he said, adding that throwing his helmet during a particularly bad moment on Christmas wasn't the way to fix the problem. I gotta keep my F, E King cool, man, cause as a leader on this team, that's not how you switch the momentum.